We're here at Oracle Park, formerly AT&T Park, which is the home of the San Francisco Giants. If you can't tell, we're in San Francisco, obviously. Um, and we're here to try to get an American baseball experience. But this park's sort of different. Um, we're at Wrigley Field before, and I'd probably call that more traditional American um, baseball experience with hot dogs and pizza and stuff like that. This place has a lot more different options of food, and it's a lot more diverse in what you can get. And I think it's just a different, different atmosphere. I think it's a cooler atmosphere. May not be authentic, but I think it's gonna be a really cool atmosphere here. Sally's a big Giants fan, so she's happy to be here. I'm a Cubs fan, in case anyone didn't know, but I'm still excited to be here. I'm excited for the food. I really wanna try some of this food here, because it, it looks so amazing. Do you like your bubble head? <laughs> Seems to be some sort of hole of bubble heads. And there's a lot of bubble heads here. And that's where Sally became a bubble head. You look funny. Yeah, I know, it looks really creepy. <laughs> this place has so much food. There's, you got your traditional foods like hot dogs and pizzas and popcorn and all the like the American things you'd find um, like we saw at Wrigley Field. There's a bit more, there's so many more diverse options here as well like there's sushi, there's Mexican food, there's a Chinese place, um, there's like Ghirardelli's, that chocolate place which is meant to be famous here. There's just so many different types of food, there's a carvery, there's um, seafood, there's oh, you name it and you can probably get it here and you can eat here. Some of the most famous ones that are here is um, the crazy crab, which is the crab sandwich, and the garlic fries is going to be pretty famous. We're starting with the crab sandwich, our pre-game snack. For the record, this thing costs eighteen fifty US dollars, which is pretty expensive. The boys will look good. It seems to be tomato and crab on a grilled sandwich. Sourdough. Sourdough is going to be famous here. It was invent sourdough was invented in San Francisco. And I think that every um, sourdough can lead its way back to the original strain of sourdough. The, the yeast in it, which is really cool. Anyway, crab sandwich. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. I can't explain what's on it. Well, that tastes crab, but the bread's unbelievable. The bread's kind of like, maybe partially garlicky, partially herby. And yeah, it's really good. It's just like pulled crab, tomato. This thing is really good, worth 1850. Mm. So these are the seats for our first night. Not all the games are going to be like this. We spend the most money on this one. We're in a pretty cool spot. Look how close we are. That's the dugout right over there. And it looks like the bullpen. That's right, they have the bullpen on the side here, don't they? Do you see the players is warming up down there? This is Sally filling out the scorecard. I missed all their names. And she missed all the names of the starting players, but I'll show it again. Oh. 
So this is one of the other um, traditional foods, I guess you'd call, or one of the recommended foods you have to get here is garlic fries, and we got it in a helmet. That cools the helmet. And they give you mints as well. So obviously they're really garlicky. Whoa, you definitely need the mint. That is so garlicky. Sorry, Sally. Actually, sorry, both of us. We're gonna smell like garlic for a while. Mm. They are so good. Very garlicky, but so good. All right, let's get back to the game. We have Girardelli hot chocolate, which is probably the third classic San Francisco thing here, right? I would say so. Along with garlic fries, the crab sandwich, and this is probably like the number three traditional things. And this is it. Looks like hot chocolate. There was whipped cream in it, but I think it melted. Yeah, but I think it melted because it's so hot. That's like the best hot chocolate I've ever had in my life. our second game here in San Francisco and we're at the view level today which the seats aren't as close as what we were yesterday but it's a pretty good view this is our view of the game we've got these really nice front row seats so no one's going to be in front of us it's really cool and I just saw it was a giveaway day and it was really busy Americans seem to love their giveaways it's a pretty cool giveaway we've got a free t-shirt it's a Brandon Crawford t-shirt. We have, we wanted to get sushi, but you have to be on the club level or something to get sushi. So we ended up getting these chicken burgers from this place. And it's all organic, everything there, uh, which is pretty cool. And we got this spicy barbecue ranch. And it's kind of lame, because I thought they'd put it on the burger. They give you a sachet, so we have to they give you a lot of sauce, that's probably enough sauce. And these are organic tater tots with organic garlic. And they smell so garlicky. They're really good, but so more garlicky than the fries. It's just like garlic paste on it. And we also got bubble tea. Mmm, that's good. Bubble tea at the baseball is awesome. I love San Francisco for that. Mmm. It's a really good chicken burger. It's very like clean and very chickeny. Like chickeny, of course it's chickeny. Really meaty. Not much like coating on it, which is good.
Okay, so we got this ice cream sandwich from this place called Cream. And it's a cookie, it's a snickerdoodle cookie with churro ice cream and Oreo pieces in it. Ah. Oh. Mm. It's half melted, but the ice cream's really good. 